What is up everyone? I'm Spar Night 13. This is gonna be my very first PC video. Now you're um now you're probably wondering, hey I haven't done any PC videos yet. That's because I haven't found a good screen recorder up until now. As it turns out my dad left me a screen recorder, but you know what you know that's a long story short. Anyway, so let's get so this video is gonna be about how to uh use Modio 5.0. I have not seen any videos about 5.0, so I thought I might want to make a video. Now I am only I'm only gonna tell you the info that I know for a fact is right. Um, any info that that I learn in the future, I'll just add to the description. All right. Um, if there's enough info, I might even make a second video. So, anyways, let's get started. So when you load up Modio 5. Point, uh, and this is Modio 5.0. This isn't 4 or 3, which some of my friends find it easier to use. This is 5.0, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get a USB flash drive, alright? You're going to want to make, uh, you, you're going to want to put a copy of it on, uh, of your uh, Xbox profile. Now, I do not know how to do this for PS3 or PC. I only know how to mod for Xbox 360, alright? So what you're going to... What you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to get a USB uh, flash drive, thumb drive, whatever. Put it in your Xbox, make a copy of your profile, and put it on the USB. Okay. Uh, that way, you know the mods don't go to your hard drive, which could, you know, ultimately result in you not ever being able to remove the mod, which I don't like. So, you know, so, uh, and we're gonna set up so that where. If you want to use the mod, uh, the mods, uh, the modded game save, you go to your flash drive when it's plugged in, and when it, uh, when you want to just do it, you know, regular, uh, you go to your hard drive, all right. But, um, so yeah, you're gonna want, like I've been constantly saying, get a flash drive, put, uh, put your profile on it, a copy of your profile, all right. Yeah, it's like capital, uh, capital. Um, capital copy like it, it cannot be you know it can't just be the only one you've got to have a copy of it on your console and one on your flash drive so anyways enough of me lecturing so once you do that uh, put the flash drive into your computer you're gonna have to make a, a uh, game cut um, account I already have mine which is Jacob12767 it's in the top right corner you can uh, click on it uh, I will say username, password, sign in, and sign up. You'll click on sign up, make your account, verify it at your email, sign in on here. Now, I think I think they really designed this pretty well because it you know it looks like an internet browser without the URL and all that. But I think that's really cool. So, anyways, it looks like Chrome if you think. I mean, I know I'm using. Uh, no, actually, I'm using Firefox. Maybe I downloaded it using Chrome, so that's why. It, looks like anyways so you're gonna want to go down here to uh, currently you are on newsfeed I'm not a VIP member I don't know how any of that VIP stuff works I think there's just more mods to choose from so um, to start you go to open a save now where it says plug in an Xbox 360 hard drive memory card or USB stick I do not have mine in at the present time but you know you're gonna need yours and um, but make sure that your USB is in, otherwise this won't work, okay? So you gotta download a save. Now you can choose from these, you know, like, these really good saves. Yeah, so here's Fallout 3, Borderlands 2. But frankly, I'm going to go to search. Now, this is very important. I do not know how to do the search for a game one. Um, one of my friends, uh... Uh, one of my friends, PSU Chaos, he made a mod uh, using the, uh, you know, on Modio. I do not know how to access it, though, because you have to search for a game. Um, I'll have to get him to explain it to me, and then I'll have to make a secondary video on how to do it. But it is called, um, if you guys ever figure it out, you know, you want to put it in the comments. And uh, you know how to search for a game and put it on your USB and all that, you know, and it works. Uh, please tell me, um... The the mod is for the mod is for uh, dungeon defenders. It's called the forty ounce mod. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna type it in right here. Dungeon defenders. 
Sorry about any background noise. I'm in a public place. Yeah, I'm, I'm using my laptop. So, anyways, here's the 40 ounce dungeon mod. It is really good. If you ever figure out how to use the search for game one, use this mod. If you have dungeon defenders, it is incredible. It, it will give you so much cool stuff on dungeon defenders. It's just incredible when you use it. He's got like 200 pages of uh, modded weapons and armor. It's it's incredible. He uh, gave me a few of them. So, it's a fully packed tavern. I don't know how he makes these mods, but I just... Um, anyways, it's a really good mod, so if you ever figure out how to use it that way. But this is how I mod, okay? So, I'm gonna clear that out. So, the next step that I always do... So, I'm gonna search up a... Border, no, no, not a Borderlands 2 one. Let's go for... Uh, World at War, right? So, World at War. So, I typed in World at War, and it's going to give me a lot of modded saves for World at War. Now, the main mod for, you know, World at War is the, um, ma uh, the mod menu, which I love. I always love trying to find new ones. To be honest, my favorite one so far is Master Mod, so... I go here, master mods. So where is it? Like you see, master mods V11 is the one I have. It's it's um. I mean, I I'm not great with you know actually looking for these mods, but you know what? I think uh, V11 is a good one. I think you ought to go with that if you're if you actually are gonna test it on World at War. And, you know, it's not just World at War, there's Black Ops 2, but I would not suggest doing it for the newer games like Halo 4, Black Ops 2, unless you're, um, unless you go offline. If you go online, there's a big chance they'll catch you, alright? So, if you're gonna mod, uh, for the newer games like Black Ops 2, Halo 4, AC3, um, or Assassin's Creed 3, if you don't know what that is, yeah. Um, yeah, I would go offline for those games. So, Minecraft doesn't have a lot of mods. Mainly, everyone just put a bunch of custom maps on here. So, I'm gonna... So, let's type in Minecraft. What? Oh. <laughs> no, I put in Minecraft. E-C-R-A-F-T. And there we go, we've got all these Minecraft. Now if you notice, not all of them are for Minecraft. This one's for Midnight Club for some reason. Here you got World at War, Resident Evil, which is weird. So to fix that, to get the whole page on nothing but Minecraft, click on, um, sorry, hold up. Uh, click on one of these, uh, you know, only the ones with the Minecraft picture. So I'm gonna go to Ocean World. You gotta find more saves. Uh, if this guy made a lot of mods, you can always from O Meshi and you know look at all of the mods he's created. But I always go here more for Minecraft Xbox 360. And you'll notice that I forgot where it was. Now Epic Minecraft Zombies Darice, I be I believe I've yeah, I've done a uh, I've done a I've got I've done a video on that. So, and that was a really good map. If you want to uh, play for yourself, you know, maybe do that. Uh, you know, I'll show you how to download. You know, I'll actually download uh, Darius one on. So you click on here. All right, now say you know, you've read through this. You really want this. So you click on download. Now note, not all of the mods will work. Okay, not all of them. Most of them. Okay. See if it loads for a while. That's one way of knowing that it probably worked. If it goes instant, you don't get your hopes up. Okay, now here you've got this. Uh, you've got general, you've got advanced, and modify save. Modify save, don't even worry about that. Advance, I'm trying to use that for some, but I'm not going to really go into detail. And here, you just leave it at general. This is the way it'll open. All right, now you can see the name at the top, you know, right about here. You can see that's Minecraft. Now, of course, I do not have my um, 
I do not have my USB stick in, so it won't save for me, but it will save for you if you have your profile on it. So you uh, get your USB in there. And over here, it will say uh, save to, for in my case, it would say save to Spiral Knight 13. All right, so you would just click on that. It would just load for a bit, and then it would there would be a little thing that pops up saying, for example, um, for example, the mod has successfully been downloaded to Spiral Knight 13. You know, something like that. You just hit OK. Um, at that point, it's safe to remove your USB. You don't have to, you know, like safely remove it or anything. Put it in your Xbox. Now when it says select storage device, when you go onto Minecraft, you'll hit the memory unit. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much how to mod using Modio 5.0. If I find um, any uh, info that I found, find out in the future, I will post in, uh, in the description or in a later video. Alright, please comment, read, subscribe if this did help you. Um, the like button always, you know, that like button always, uh, <clears throat> the like button always helps, so you know what, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you.